This is the Angus Advantage, and I'm here with Chef Michael Ollier, and today we're talking about steak sliders. These look delicious. Let's talk about these. How do we make these, and what are the benefits of having some of these little burgers? Absolutely. You know, this is the time of season where I think tailgating, you're thinking quick grab bites. Right. And what better choice than, I think, the sirloin steak. I picked up this top sirloin from Meyer. Okay. It's a great cut, and it's got a tremendous amount of flavor for a great value, and that's why I like it. So for me, it's just kosher salt and fresh cracked pepper before I put it on a nice blazing hot grill. And this is a little tailgating grill. Okay. A little small portable grill. Very I, good for tailgate time. Great. So, so I just put it Doesn't on some really sizzle? high heat and get the crust on the outside. So I'm trying to develop a good crisp. The, the sizzle is the key, is the point, right. to get a good crust. And then what I'll do is I'll just slice those pieces really super thin okay. and make sliders. So, mini sandwiches. That's what we're talking about today. Is there a certain way that you slice them? Like whenever you're holding that, do you need to cut against the, the, the grain? Or? You, you're an expert at the grill, <laughs> I have to say. I think you know that's the key is when you take it off the grill, first let it rest a little bit mm -hmm. and then slice it. For sandwiches, I like it slice as super thin as I can against the grain. And the idea, okay. the reason is because you want to have the shortest possible fiber from which to choose. Bites. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Very yeah. cool. Now, you mentioned that you use the sirloin for this. Right? Yes, yes, a great value. That's what you recommend for making these sliders? You in can general? use a lot of different cuts for it, but I think the sirloin has that great balance of value to exceptional flavor. So okay. that's why I choose that. Very yeah. cool. Let's talk about how you actually made these here. So, what do you have? It looks like you've got this some barbecue sauce. This is a like, great recipe we sauce. have that uh, really is just cheddar cheese. And then, I, while I have the, you notice the grilled red onions that I had oh, on the grill. Okay. okay so, yep. I combine those two. I like to take advantage of the grill space. So, I'll have vegetables going at the same time. So, grilled red onions. And I topped it with uh, a bourbon barbecue sauce. Ooh, okay. So, really, it's just choosing your favorite barbecue sauce with a hint of uh, bourbon in it. Ooh, okay, yeah. and you've even got a little bit of cheese here, and you can top it with really whatever you like. Honestly, right? you could. If you have a whole grain mustard or some type of mayo component, top it with what you like. Okay. Very cool. So we are here for the Angus Advantage, and what is the advantage for using Angus meat? It's not just any kind of meat. Great point, because Angus is a breed of cattle, mm -hmm. and it's a great starting point for good beef, but really it's the marbling within, and that's okay. what's going to make you an expert at the meat case at Meyer is noticing the marbling that you see and choosing those cuts from certified Angus beef. Absolutely. Well, and if folks want to get some of these kind of recipes and more for tailgate time, where can they go? They can go to certifiedangusbeef.com, or they can head to the Meyer counter. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here with us, Chef Michael, and we'll be right back.